let's try out this three-dimensional geometry question from 2014 AMC 12A problem 17. You have 4 by 4 by H rectangular box and because the creators of AMC were very nice people, they gave us this picture so we know this thing is 4, this thing is 4, and you know the height, height of this box is H. And we have a bunch of tangent spheres inside. Let's keep on reading the description. Contains a sphere of radius 2 and 8 smaller spheres of radius 1. So we have this sphere of radius 2 and we have other spheres of, of radius 1. So this one has radius 1. This one has radius 1, every single other one has radius of 1. And all of them are tangent, the smaller spheres are each tangent to three sides of the box, and the larger sphere is tangent to each of the smaller spheres. So if something seems like it's tangent in this diagram, it is tangent. And we wish to find the height. Hmm, so we want to find the height of this box. It's very interesting. Huh. The first thing, one of the first things I realized is that we don't have to worry as much about the top part of this diagram. We only have to worry about half of it. So we, if we can find h over 2 using this symmetry from down below, so if we can find, if we can just focus on this part of the diagram, so the bottom half or the top half, and if you can find height over 2, we should be done. And when I was trying this question um, yesterday, maybe, maybe two days ago, what, what I saw was maybe you can draw a pyramid. And what do I mean by a pyramid? I saw that when you connect the centers of this, these four spheres, so connecting the center, this may not be the best way of doing it, but it actually worked out, so I want to show you my own way. So drawing this, this pyramid and connecting and also one vertex is at the at the center of the large sphere and you're drawing this pyramid so you have this pyramid going on right here and the thing is once you have this pyramid you're done all you have to do is know some Pythagorean theorem and you should have it and the reason is what's the length of this the length of this is two because each of the radius of the smaller sphere has length one what about this what about the large large portion large edge lengths. Well, that's going to be 3, 2, plus 1, the radius of the large sphere plus radius of the smaller sphere. And let's say you're trying to find, you're trying to find height of this pyramid, we can let that be x. We can connect, we can draw a right triangle by connecting this leg to the vertex. And let me redraw this, this bottom part. You have a square base and we have this portion as part of our leg. So I'm talking about, I'm talking about right write this. Side of this square is length of 2, which is length right, right here, 2 radiuses of 1, and you have the entire diagonal being 2 times square root of 2, so this leg of our triangle is going to be square root of 2. So once, so you have this right triangle with x, 3, and square root of 2, so our x comes out to be square root of 9 minus 2 or square root of 7. And let's think about this. What is our height? Well, we have square root of 7 from this pyramid, and we have extra 1 radius. So you have 1 plus square root of 7, and you want to double it, because you also have to account for the top part. So the answer is going to be 2 plus 2 times square root of 7, which is, I did not print the answer choice, but the answer is 2 plus 2 times square root of 7.